Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, you know, in the world of IoT, you have people connecting very smart objects, and these two cre together create value and wonderful businesses, and this is wonderful. We had many uh, examples of that. But there is another angle that can be very smart as well, is to pick a very dumb object. Like, the less intelligent you can find out there, the most dirty, the most heavy. And this is what Paul and his team at, at PIN IoT have done. They have spotted a gold mine, an open air gold mine, of hundreds of thousands of objects like this, even millions, right in our streets. In all the streets of London and throughout the country, you have these objects. They are dirty, they are heavy, they are not pretty, they are steel made, they are waste containers. So when you see that this industry is about blind, almost blind about where their assets are, there is a lot of value in working in that space. So it might not be the most pretty story, it might be, not be the most glamorous, the most fashionable today, but it's clearly one of the most robust ones. And the team is very solid as well. So it's my pleasure to introduce Paul. Uh, and he will let you know a bit more about what his ambitions are. Paul from Pinayoti. This is a story about the humble waste container. The bin, the skip, the dumpster. Not sexy, but vital to global industry. Let's take our customer, Trevor. He's the asset manager for one of the UK's largest waste management companies. And his job is to manage a fleet of half a million waste containers. His problem is that fundamentally he doesn't really know where they are. They get lost. They get stolen, they get damaged in large quantities. And every year, his business spends up to 20 million pounds buying new ones, with no idea as to where the last ones went. And what's even worse, that despite all of this cost, these containers are often not in the right place at the right time to serve customers. And that means missed revenue and unhappy customers, not a good combination. Trevor is frustrated, as is the rest of the industry. And this has always been a problem. The good news is that all of this is about to change. Wireless technology has evolved, and it's now possible to track waste containers in real time at very low cost. We have been waiting for this technology to be ready. And that is why we've incorporated PIN IoT. Our solution delivers real-time visibility of waste container fleets by tracking devices that attach to containers, software that processes and presents the data, and support that brings it all together. It works via dual tracking technologies. And what this means is that we can distinguish between normal operational movements and when things get lost or stolen. The software presents the insight to the customer, who is then able to make simple and clear decisions. Via insights like this, that we are delivering to the industry for the very first time. Real-time visibility of inventory across the estate showing every single movement. Which containers are available for, for use? How hard the fleet is working commercially? And immediately alerting when containers move in a way that they shouldn't be. These seemingly simple metrics deliver transformation. Revenue increases. Customers are happier. Containers get damaged less often and cost less to fix. And of course, they don't get lost. And they can be recovered when they get stolen. So Trevor's 20 million pounds pretty much goes away. We have the team in place to get the job done. Between myself 
and my co-founders Chris, Andy and Sam, we've done this before. We've previously developed and commercialized a comparable product using older technology. We built very similar software and so we know exactly what to do. And we've decades of know-how in terms of how to drive change in industry environments like waste management that don't change very easily and can be resistant to new technology. So we can go quickly. And we are first to market. What we are doing could not have been done before now. We have traction. We're working with Biffa, the UK's second largest waste management company. And I am delighted to announce that only this week, Biff have made the decision to commence the rollout of our product into their depot network. <laughs> this is a massive deal for us. We are beyond proof of concept. And the industry has been hugely receptive to what it is that we're doing. Our digital campaigns have generated a response that is six times the market average. And this means we've been able to build a really exciting sales pipeline of other national companies and SMEs, all of whom share the same unresolved problem. This underpins our confidence that we've achieved product market fit. And this is a market that we forecast will grow to be worth 19 billion pounds globally in the years to come. We are moving fast. The company has only been incorporated for nine months. We are first to market. We have a working product. The number two player in that market has already committed to us, and we're speaking to three of the other five national operators. We're in a unique position, and we know exactly what to do to take the business forward from here. To deliver this, we'll be raising a seed round of 1.2 million pounds. We will use these funds to build out the product, to get the model right, to get the team in place, to execute growth in the UK market and to work out what comes next. We are out to transform the waste industry supply chain globally. We'd love to talk to you about what we're doing in more detail. Please come and see us after the presentations. Thank you. <laughs>